Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror from your Windows 10 laptop onto your TV. So this is really useful if you want to share your pictures and your videos or even if you want to use certain apps and websites on your laptop but you want to view them on the bigger screen up there. So the laptop we're going to be using in the video is this little GPD Pocket. It's this little very small Windows 10 laptop and the TV is an LG TV. So first of all we're going to do the computer side of things and then we're going to go over and we're going to do the TV things. It's really easy to set up and it doesn't take long at all. So on the computer I'm just going to have to go down to this icon in the bottom right hand side. Now the computer and the TV are not connected to the internet so you don't have to have the internet to enable this to work. So I'm going to left click on this icon down here and I'm going to go to where it says connect. So I'm going to left click on connect. And then what it's going to do is it's going to bring up the available devices. So right now it hasn't found anything because we haven't actually set it up on the TV yet. So if we look up at the TV, we're going to get the LG remote control. And if you have a look up here, I've got a symbol here that looks like a cable. So I'm going to tap that. And then if you look up the top right hand side of the TV, it's hard to see. But the third one along, it says screen share. So use your up and down arrows on your remote control until you get to screen share and then press OK. And now it comes up with this screen here. So now if we come back to my laptop, in about 20 seconds you should see it will come up with LG TV. There we go, it's come up with it there. So now we need to click on where it says LG TV, or if you're using this on a tablet or something, you just need to tap it. So this little laptop works by clicking or tapping, so I'm just going to tap there. And now it will say connecting, and if you look up on the screen there, you will just about see that it's got the Wi-Fi symbol that's moving back and forth. And if you have a look now, it's already connected up. So right now it's working as an extended screen, so it's not quite duplicating what we've got down here. So if I go back down to this icon in the bottom right, and if I left click on that, and if I go to where it says project, and click on it, if I go to duplicate, then it will duplicate everything from here on the big screen. So now you can see it's a complete mirror of what I see there up into there. So this is useful, like I said earlier, if you want to share your photos and stuff on the big screen. Now that extended screen is also useful as well because you might want to be doing some work here and yet your kids might want to be watching Netflix or some other app that you've got on here on the big screen up there in which case that's when you can set up the extend screen. So I'm just going to show you that working now. Remember I haven't got this connected to the internet so I'm not actually going to be able to open any web pages but if I go to project again and if I go to extend what it will do now is I've got the main screen down here and I've got the secondary screen up there. So if you have a very close look, you can just about see my mouse here. As I start moving it over to this side here, it will leave this screen. And now if you have a look up here, it's gone up to the TV up there. So I'm now controlling that screen up here. And then if I bring it back over to the left hand side, it will come back on the screen down here. So let me make that more clear by opening up a couple of web pages. Now it will say enable to display page because like I said, I haven't actually got this connected to the internet. I just wanted to show that this was possible without having an internet connection. So I'm gonna open up two pages. The first page is gonna be this page here where you can do your work on. And then the second page is gonna be up here where you can, for example, watch Netflix or some other service. Now I'm dragging it over. And if you have a look on the big screen up there now, I've dragged it over to the big screen. I'm gonna drop it there and then you can make that big there. And that's how you can do two things at the same time on the one laptop. So, and here's an example actually where this is connected to the internet. You can see now that on this page here, I'm on Google, and yet up here I'm on Amazon. So you can see my mouse moving around up on screen there, and when I bring it over to this screen here, you can now see it's moving on this screen here. And here we have Netflix working up here and just another website, my website down here. So if I use the cursor and go across to here and press play, obviously on the LG TV you've already got Netflix, so it's not a great example. But there you go, that's Netflix. 
and then here I can still do what I want to use on this screen down here. So both screens are being projected from this PC but it's just using the TV for the second screen. So it's a really handy feature to have and really easy to set up. Now when we want to disconnect it it's just as easy. We go down to the icon at the bottom right so let me get my mouse back over here icon on the bottom right left click and then we're going to go to where it says connect and we're going to left click there and we're going to now press disconnect and that will put the laptop back to normal and the TV back to normal so if we pull back a little bit we'll see now once I click disconnect it's now gone off the TV there and we now have both pages open down here so if I click here You'll see that I've got the one page there and then I've got the other page here. So I can close that one down and then I will be back to my original page there. And with the TV, all you've got to do is press exit. And you can see now it's gone back to the normal TV. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if this helps you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.